Welcome to this YouTube video. You clicked on the link, you know what it's all about. Liam Good is uh, filming today. Wave Liam. They'll be capturing all the behind the scenes stuff you're gonna see today in this video. All the different vendors we're gonna be dealing with. So we got Eric Bolton on guitar. We got Emily Pates Events, who's painting. We have lovely Balloon Woman, who I've forgotten her name, but it's here listed. This is her Instagram. And then we've got uh, Alicia, who's coordinating everything. Oh, and Jeff Max officiating. Let's go talk to Jeff right now. Let's go see what he's up to. If you've never been here before, this is the DTK Chapel. Jeff took it over in 2020 and uh, he's made it kind of its own incredible space. Um, the first wedding I ever shot in 2009 or 10, uh, that wasn't video, was, was photo and it was here when it was like your grandma's basement. So it's a bit different now, which is nice. Jeff Bright, he's in here somewhere, come on. Oh, there he is. 1,000 and... A little over 1,000 pre-ceremony, just get myself ready. Okay, getting the wraps yeah, in. Are we ready for this or what? I think so. Jeff, you wanna talk about what we're doing today? I'm gonna give you the mic. Thank you so much. Let me tell you what we've got planned for today. We've got an incredible backdrop set up from Siemper Solis. Here we're gonna have Emily paint events, do some live painting, some live music. Falling in love. It's just gonna be an incredible time to celebrate with some of the closest people in their lives. Can't wait to do it. Do you wanna hold that? Yep. And just tell me what we're doing today. Hi, Leo. Oh, Hi. Hi. Oh, here, so down the corner. Do you know Nobody puts baby in the corner. Hi guys, Allie from Mac Weddings here for the DTK Chapel Micro Weddings. Super pumped. Um, I get it organized and hang out with everybody today. Make sure everything goes on, on track, goes to plan. Like, what am I trying to say? I really love the first look, which will be at the Walker Hotel. They want to go to a green space. Yeah. I've got tingliness in my hands. <laughs> this is totally normal, totally yeah. natural. This is what happens. Welcome to getting married. So button up. As I do for most weddings I photograph, we start with some light getting ready of either side of the wedding party. In today's case, we have Joseph, the groom of the day, making some micro adjustments to his outfit. A lot of the time we don't need to spend 45 minutes together in a hotel room. We can find a nice spot near the first look location to create these getting ready images. Depending on the day and the needs of my couples, I can typically get what I need for a well-rounded gallery in a few short minutes. Now typically this crystal ballroom, this massive space is filled with chairs and tables and they're getting ready for a reception or a ceremony. But because it was empty for some reason on this day, or maybe they just hadn't set things up yet, we used it for the first look location, which I thought was perfect. It's got plenty of great light. It's got these really clean, crisp white walls, these chandeliers. It's just kind of like an ideal space. And it's not outside where it's 30 plus degrees. So the more time we could spend in a, in a climate that is favorable to people's hair and makeup before the ceremony, I always suggest that. Make sure that they're looking as good as possible for when they walk down the aisle. They're not, you know, <laughs> crying mascara or their hair isn't just completely in disarray. Well, do you guys want to take some photos? Let's take yeah, some photos. Let's have some awesome, cool. I might have you guys uh, start by just holding hands and walking towards the stage in the center of the room there. So, center yourselves up a bit more. Just look at each other as you guys walk. Portraits don't you have to be hard. To Getting my couples to focus on each other there, and how nice good they close. look is my starting yeah, point for everyone. The less they can think about me being there, taking their photo, the easier they can get into the flow of having their portraits taken. So, we always just start simple, hold hands, walk in the other direction, look at each other, be really happy click, 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 take the photo, and then we, we build from that, so. Oh, they look so good. Your nails are incredible, by the way, too. This is the same for every couple. I know that not everyone I photograph is a professional model. They don't really know where to put their hands all the time. So uh, I'll give suggestion when needed, but typically I like to focus on getting authentic, candid, 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 candid portraits for my couples, and that starts with them just kind of interacting with each other. And Sean, do you want to look out the window just see your head there? Beautiful. And Joseph, you want to just adjust your ties for your standing? Perfect. Love that. Oh, I love that, guys. Those look really good. Those look fantastic. Cool. cool. I might do some of the back of the dress. Do you want to spin around and face the window there, Sean? But enough one. about yeah. this part of the day. Let's check in with Eric Bolton yeah, back at the DTK Chapel. Okay, I'm Eric Bolton. I'm a musician and uh, do like original music, a lot of cover tunes, and a lot of weddings. And I also own a music school in Cambridge, Ontario. I try to challenge every couple to like pick songs that are really close to them and not worry about whether or not they fit a wedding theme. And I can, 
it's my job to then make it fit a wedding. And like we even had one time working with, with Jeff over here, Jeff Mick, we had, we had uh, an all Guns N' Roses couple and they wanted only Guns N' Roses for their wedding ceremony, which is obviously not very normal. But we, uh, it was fun making it all fit and making it work and still fit like a wedding song to the point that people probably weren't even noticing it was Guns N' Roses until you're halfway into the song. Nice. Yeah, it's fun. And so I love how unique and every, you meet so many people with their own taste. Nice. Yeah. What, what do you think about working with Jeff? He's the local Ryan Reynolds. That's what I've always heard, right? And it just feels like I get to be close to celebrity and feel like a little bit like I'm near royalty all the time, you know? Like almost like closer to God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> oh no, it's, it's amazing. Jeff's over here holding us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's the best. I love working with, with Jeff and the Mac Weddings crew. You know, there's an energy and a life that, that the Mac Weddings team brings to things, and it's different from your usual, like, pop up elopement or like small micro wedding. It's got a lot of character still and a lot of flavor, so yeah. right there and just pull each other in nice and close just how you're standing is perfect yeah. eric is the best he's available for weddings elopements birthday parties he makes the kind of music you want to listen to so if you're planning for live music at your event you should definitely think about hiring eric bolton uh his details are below the description of this video if you want to look him up and send him some money he'll come to your place and play some wicked tunes We've been taking photos for about 25 minutes, and by this point I feel like the couple is pretty relaxed and open to suggestions. I really like creating the types of images that you might pull out of an old chest in the attic one day. The types of photos where people have to sit for minutes at a time with the camera shutter open to expose them properly. Like the good old days. And then give me a 1930s Great Depression look. Joseph, do you want to look out the window? Go for it guys, just look at each other as you guys walk. Being a summer day in Canada, we don't get a lot of nice days, so it was a bit warmer than I'd want it to be, but I can't control the weather. So either way, we took them outside to get some nice portraits of the two of them. I do find that if you're a couple wearing a wedding gown and suit, people just kind of give you a lot of space. No one really messes with you. I've never had anyone violently attacked or yelled at or shouted at as being a couple in a wedding dress. So I feel like... If you're, you know, if you're looking to commit some crimes, like steal bikes or rob a bank, just do it in your wedding dress and wedding uh, suit. People will probably just congratulate you and, and let you go on your way because apparently you can just do anything you want. That's probably not true. Don't, please don't rob a bank. Please don't steal. Okay, that's enough of me for now. Let's check in at the DTK Chapel with Emily about how to paint, because I don't know how to paint, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about how to paint, and how she paints, painting. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time visualizing what this looks like. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand painting. I've it. never watched a painting from beginning like oh, this. Oh, right, okay. okay. I put this, this wash on it first, yeah. and the purpose of that is because if you have, I don't know if you've ever seen those optical illusions where it's like a gray line, and if it's on a white background, it looks really, really dark, and if it's on a black, background it looks like it looks significantly different so you basically tone the canvas so that you can get a better idea on the value of the color that you're putting down because if it's stark white and you put like a brown down it's gonna look way darker than if that brown was beside like a black because gotcha. then it would look really light that's more than I've ever known about yeah <laughs> so so the first like brown wash is basically just me planning out the composition of the painting okay. and toning it so that it's not um, so aggressively white. And then if you miss painting a spot, the brown will show through instead of white, which is way more um, noticeable at first. Play ball! It's time for the ceremony. This is what the whole day is about. Whether I am capturing photos or video for a couple's wedding day, I will typically put myself up near the altar of the ceremony space so I can get both Joseph's reaction to his bride walking down the aisle, family and friend reactions, as well as her approach. Faces are important, that's where the emotion is, it seems simple and it kind of is, and that's my focus of the day. People's faces, people's reactions, important moments that come up, candid things, impromptu moments, traditions, stuff like that. But it all centers around the ceremony, so this is the most important part of the day. I try to be inconspicuous as possible, but I, at some point you just really have to plant yourself in the best spot possible for those moments. And then once everything's underway, Jeff's at the front, bride and groom are at the front. 
I will step aside and try and blend into the guest list of people as much as I can. Family and friends, we're going to get to the best part in a second, I promise. I can see you're excited for this. Hang tight, hang tight. We're going to sign the marriage license first, then we're going to come back up, you promise, okay? You can hear a little bit of Jeff's uh, uh, delivery here for his ceremony. Jeff's a pro. If you're looking for someone to officiate your wedding with humor and a joie de vie and a touch of sentimentality, Jeff is the guy to reach out to. Again, all of the vendors are listed below in the description of this video if you want to reach out to them personally, professionally. They're all fantastic human beings who, if I didn't know them from the wedding industry, I'd want to be their friend. So they're, they're good people. You know, one more thing, family and friends, you might remember at the beginning of the ceremony, I said, look, I want you to be excited. Uh, I want you to cheer. In a second, I'm going to declare them married. I'm hoping you're going to be pretty excited about that. Does that sound all right? So why don't we go ahead. Sean, Joseph, you two have kissed, who knows, a thousand times, maybe more? Guys, I have no idea. This might be their first kiss. It might be for a real treat. So get the cameras out. You might want to grab it. I don't know. But it's definitely different because your very first kiss is husband and wife. So without further ado, it's my wonderful and great honor to actually be able to declare you married. Why don't you go ahead and kiss? That's probably what they're waiting for. Here. Family and friends, what is Sean and Joseph Shuka? Give them a round of applause. Following the ceremony, we took some family formal portraits, all smiling this time, as much as I love the Victorian early 1900s style of portraiture where people are just looking somber and sad, I do find that my couples are more likely to print pictures of their family members smiling in the image. It's a happy day. Let's all put on a happy face. Smile for the camera, cheese click. Immediately following the family formals, which took about 15, 20 minutes, we stepped outside to the back of City Hall to create some post-ceremony portraits of the happy couple before they joined their guests back at the Walper for the reception. I wasn't invited to the reception. I'm not upset about it. Genuinely, I'm not upset. We captured so much from the day that I feel like me being there for the speeches and toasts and details in the evening would kind of be overkill for them. Some moments of life don't need to be photographed and are probably better off as a memory of a good meal and a weird conversation about sea turtles and the migration habits you have with your aunt. Th these are moments that you can't really photograph. And I feel like myself being in those moments sometimes takes away from the moments people are focusing on. Oh, there's a photographer here taking photos. Yeah, we captured a lot from this day. So I'm super happy with everything we have. And uh, the couple was too. <laughs> Spoiler alert. These are already delivered to the couple. It's been weeks. They love them. Which is awesome. I love hearing that. I love them too. I hope there's no wind on this. I guess we'll find out later. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us on this uh, really fun DTK uh, micro slash macro slash big slash small wedding where this couple had like the most vendors I've seen in DTK Chapel of all time. You can do this too and you probably should if you're thinking of something that's a bit smaller on the scale but also large in heart. Liam Good, thank you so much for filming this, man. I owe you big time. Yeah, brother. That was great. Uh, shoot. I feel good. I feel inspired again. This was great. I feel like I can tackle this weekend's weddings. No problem. I don't know. It was fun. It was fun. Here's some photos I took that I really like. Pow! Boom! All these pieces have kind of come together to do this small micro type wedding in here. Uh, the incredible thing about this is that we're able to do these four days a week. We could do these Monday to Thursday in this space and that's what makes this space so unique uh, that we're able to do those celebrations like this. I don't know if that's that what at all we wanted. Really yeah, yeah, no, that's great. Great.